Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to create your very own height map terrain uh, for use in iClone. Uh, we're going to be using Earth Sculptor, Photoshop, a number of other different tools to uh, demonstrate the different ways that you can uh, create and adjust your own uh, very own height map terrain. Um, so let's get started here. First I'm going to go into the uh, set section. Of course we have our uh, height map terrains here. Uh, if I load one in, for example, this uh, butte here, you can see this, the, this is the height map terrain. If I hold down Alt and Shift and zoom out, I can zoom out a lot faster. And there's my uh, beautiful height map terrain here. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to explain a little bit about the uh, height map and the mask map and how you can adjust those um, to create your very own height map terrain. So first of all, let's go check out the uh, height map here. So if I go to height map and I select launch, that'll launch my height map in Photoshop here. And you can see that the uh, lighter areas of the map correspond with the, uh, the mountain peaks and the uh, darker areas. The black area represents ground level. Um, the gray areas are kind of like the mid-levels. So uh, if I wanted to adjust this height map, for example, Let's go over here and create a square. We'll just uh, take a black square. It's, so if I did this and put a black square over it, everything would just be flat and normal in iClone. Uh, let's go flatten this for now. And uh, I have a special brush already loaded up here. I'm going to load in a uh, gray color here, a grayish color. And if I just uh, click once over top of that, that's going to place my, uh, it's going to create a new height map terrain for me there. So uh, if, if I go ahead and I save that, that's going to actually uh, replace the uh, loaded uh, height map terrain in iClone there. So if I go back to iClone, you can see there's a big significant change there. So let's uh, zoom out and take a look at what exactly that did. Um, you can see now that it created that kind of flaming O in my, in my terrain here. If I want, I can smooth that out as well using the uh, smooth sliders here uh, in iClone. We want all those jagged edges there. We can get something like that. Um, you can also adjust the uh, height scale. I wanted to bring that down a little bit. This can be useful for creating like city walls or, uh, or whatever, um, moon craters or any, anything, uh, what have you. Uh, it all depends on what kind of height map terrain you want to use. If I load up the uh, masking map here, this one's a little bit more complicated. You can't really, it's going to be very difficult to use this uh, in, in Photoshop. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into a program called Earth Sculptor. And in Earth Sculptor, we're going to create our very own uh, height map terrain and our very own uh, masking map as well. And uh, we're going to uh, bring those into iClone in just a moment. So let's go over to uh, Earth Sculptor here, and if we, if, if we just go in and uh, start up a new uh, a new map here, let's go File New, and uh, I normally keep the map size 513, the uh, texture size I like to keep at 1024, a little bit more detail in there, and we'll just leave these options the way they are, and we'll go OK, and we have our nice beautiful checkered map right here. You can see if I zoom in really closely, we have a number of different ones that are tiled uh, along this uh, checkered map here. Uh, so what do those ones correspond to? I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, for, first of all, let's turn off this level of detail option. That doesn't really matter. It's just going to be how it's rendered within Earth Sculptor and not within iClone. Uh, we can adjust the height uh, later on. I'll show you how to do that. You can turn off the fog, turn it on, uh, whatever. These are just kind of um, visual, uh, visual options here. Um, so what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to go over to the uh, uh, details section here. In the details section, we have a number of different maps that we can set. Now these are going to correspond to the different textures that we have in our final iClone uh, in our final iClone height map terrain. So let's go over to number one here, the number one swatch, and let's set a detailed texture. I'm going to go to my uh, texture folder here. Uh, this terrain texture is right here. I'm going to load in this snow texture, and you can see that tiles nicely along the uh, along my plane here. If I uh, adjust the scale of that, you can see the effect that it has right there. Scale to 100 and scale to uh, 0.5. Uh, that really depends on the look you're going for. Uh, so we'll just leave it uh, where it was. Anywhere is cool. Um, and we'll go on to uh, number two. So we're going to load in a, a few textures here. We're going to load in uh, four different textures here. Just bear, bear with me for a moment while I do this. We're going to load in this marble texture to represent the mountainside. And notice that none of these textures are showing up yet. And that's because we don't actually have any height in our map yet. So once I finish loading these, I'll show you how we can get some height in our uh, in our terrain. So I'll load in the last one, the fourth one here, and go back to the folder. And this one will be an icy texture right there. All right, so we have all of our textures loaded in there. Of course, you can scale, you can adjust the softness, radius, all that stuff uh, on your own time. Uh, but for now, let's do this. Um, I'm going to actually import a height map terrain. So I'm going to go to import, and I'm going to go oh, import uh, height map image right here. And I'm going to go to my uh, height map folder, and I'm going to load in this uh, mountains here. You can see now that we get some actually, we actually get some nice uh, mountainous shapes in my terrain here. Um, you can adjust, of course, the height. If I go back to the uh, 
um, terrain section here. I can adjust the height maybe to something like 117. Get some nice treacherous uh, mountain peaks going there. Um, exploring through a winter winter wasteland. Um, you can see, of course, that still only one of the uh, textures is being applied. Um, so let's go ahead and adjust this. Um, what I need to do is I need to go up to Generate, and I need to go to Generate Detail Height. And now I can just leave these values at default, um, the, the way they are right now. You can adjust. This basically determines exactly where each material is being applied on the map, at what particular height. So you can kind of create a, a faded gradients uh, between the materials as, as you get higher up on your height map. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that right there. And you can see what I mean right there. We have our, uh, our, very, our ice at the very top of the mountain, the uh, marble along the bottom there. We can maybe even lower that. Um, and you can see that will lower the uh, range of, of the marble there and maybe expand it. Um, it really depends on the look you're going for. We don't want that marble to be too high. We want, we want mostly snow in this, in this uh, landscape here. So let's keep it about there and this uh, icy area on the top that can be a little bit lower. Maybe nothing's high enough at this moment to, uh, to show the uh, ice, but let's see if we can lower that down to, there you go. And you can see where that ice is taking effect. We don't want it to be that low, maybe just at the very, very top there. All right, so that should be uh, good, maybe a little bit higher. And just select run every time you do that, and you can make, that, make those adjustments there. So there we go, we have our nice treacherous, uh, treacherous terrain right there. And uh, if I zoom in and out, you can see the effect that that has. And uh, let's bring that snow up actually a little bit as well. If we just bring that up a slight bit, we can get more of a wintry look and uh, relegate that uh, the marble to the side of the mountains there. All right, so there we go. That's kind of more what we're, what we're looking for there. Okay, so say now, for example, that you wanted to uh, use your brush tool to kind of uh, draw a certain material at a certain area. You don't want to leave it up to these natural natural gradients here. Let's just close down this window right now here. Say, for example, I wanted this marble texture to kind of um, be in this area as well, this little kind of valley area there as well. Let's go over to the brush tool here. And uh, what I can do is if I release this texture here, I can actually just set a texture. And if I go to my uh, materials folder here, let's go back to the textures terrain. I can select this marble texture right here. And what I can do is I can just uh, adjust the strength or the softness of this. If I want it to be uh, super high, you can see the effect that that has right there. We don't want it to be that high, obviously. We want to uh, decrease the strength a little bit, maybe down to about uh, 0.28 there, and maybe just kind of softly just draw that in. Let's zoom in a little bit closer so we can see better what we're doing here. There we go. Get a little bit more darkness here. We wanted the rocks to kind of extend along this side right there, maybe a little bit further up as well. Oops. It's difficult drawing on the uh, on the mountainside there, so there you go, just something like that. So of course you can adjust the uh, the material uh, where it's being placed as well. Uh, you can you can totally customize that. Uh, you can fool around with that uh, all you want. Maybe you can bring it more a little bit more over here as well in this area. So that's kind of just painting, uh, doing the custom painting for the materials as well. Um, now you can also adjust the landscape here. If I go to the terraform tool here. You have your typical like uh, raised terrain uh, stuff like that. If I bring a train up over there, you can see the result. Um, you can see that it's, it's rendered differently than a surrounding scene. If I just use this erode tool and maybe just uh, increase the radius, the erode kind of just adds more detail to your texture and kind of re-renders it. So let's uh, make the highest radius possible. We can just kind of bring it over the entire terrain here. And that's just a quick and easy way of, of showing some more uh, more detail on your map there. So we've got a very, very nicely detailed map there, um, ice map. Um, so there's a number of different tools you can use here as well, like uh, you can uh, you know, lower the uh, ground level, uh, level it out, um, grab. I like this one here, this ramp tool. If I, if I click and drag from, say, one mountain peak to another, like this one here, up to uh, here, it'll create kind of a nice, nice wall along that area. So this is kind of maybe a cool idea for creating like a mountain fortress or what have you. Uh, if you increase the strength, that can uh, create an even larger wall. So maybe we'll do them from here to here. You can see there we get a nice... Uh, Nice wall as well, and it always goes. Oops, um, control Z that. This also goes uh, well together with the erosion tool because you can see it just kind of creates a flat, uh, um, a featureless surface. So if we use that erosion tool, uh, maybe decrease the radius this time. Uh, we can kind of create some nice uh, erosion along that, some nice uh, wrinkles in the texture there, and uh, we can use that for that as well. And this one just uh, pushes. You can push certain areas in or out. Um, and of course, you can uh, smooth it out as well if I want to smooth that, and that's the result right there. 
So you can have uh, fun on your own time creating your own uh, custom texture. Just wanted to show you the brush tools, how you can uh, customize where your textures are being applied, uh, as well as your terraforming tools. All right, so uh, the next step we're going to do here is we are actually going to uh, go to File, and we're going to go Save, and we're going to save all our maps. Let's go to our uh, custom folder here that I've uh, set up, um, Output Folder. We're just going to call this uh, Winter. And this is going to create a number of different, uh, different uh, maps, uh, texture maps here. So I'm just going to save that. And now we're going to go back into iClone. Uh, so we're going to import this uh, custom information into iClone now. So let's go into uh, iClone over here. And you can see we still, still have our Flaming O set up. What I need to do is replace the height map. So I'm just going to double click on the height map here. And we're in our output folder. I'm going to select this uh, height map right here, this winter one right here. And you can see that applies the uh, custom map that I imported in from, uh, from Earth Sculptor. All right, so there's my uh, height map right there. We got uh, all the peaks, and of course we can uh, adjust the smoothness on this as well. If we want less smoothness or more smoothness, uh, let's leave it about that. That looks quite nice. Um, it's going to look a bit nicer when it's uh, icy. Um, so let's, uh, we can also adjust the uh, mask here. So we created that. We created a custom mask uh, in Earth Sculptor as well. So let's uh, double click on that. And this winter D, uh, the D indicator will be your will be your masking uh, map here. So let's bring that in. And now you can see that uh, all the textures are being applied where I wanted them to be applied. And uh, however, they're still green, so we don't want them to be green right now. Um, let's go in, adjust the materials, and of course you can adjust the height scale as well, like I mentioned before, if you want uh, you know to be larger in iClone as well, and the height offset. Uh, but for now, we're just going to load in all the different uh, textures. So let's go over to our down to our texture settings here. And height map one, if you recall, this one here is the uh, snow material. So I'm just going to double click my diffuse map, and we're going to load in that snow right there. And you can see I'll take a moment to process, and there we go. We have our snow uh, all loaded in there. And you can see it's still tiled. Uh, we can adjust that in a, in a moment. I'll, I'll get to that later. Um, let's load in the uh, other height map terrains first, though. So number two was right here, this diffuse one. And this is our marble, if you recall. So there's our marble being applied, the nice dark uh, mountainside there. And uh, height map 3, we'll load in the uh, darker snow. And that replaces this texture right here. And then finally for the fourth height map, we can load in a separate diffuse map for our ice. And the ice should be applied to the very top of the peaks there. So there we have it. Uh, just a couple of clicks and we have our, uh, our wondrous winter wasteland here. Um, and what I can do now is adjust the scaling. So if I go down here... And I see that uh, you know this this winter texture or the uh, snow texture here is a little bit tiled. Uh, I don't really like the looks of it. Um, what I can do is let's, there's two ways I can do this. I can either adjust the tiling and find the effect that I like. So let's go to our uh, terrain here and make sure we have the, our uh, snow selected here. Number one, there we go. And you see the tiling is fairly high right now. Put that down to maybe like a 10, for example. You can see the effect that that will have. We'll still have a bit of tiling here. All right, so what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to open up the uh, the explorer for this diffuse map here, and we're going to actually create a seamless texture in B2M really quickly. So let's go open. Um, it's going to open up the diffuse map, uh, open up the folder containing folder, sorry. So we can actually just take this uh, snow. We can click and drag it into our uh, B2M program here and drop a bitmap right here. Let's load it in, and there's our snow. And you can see that uh, the tiling doesn't entirely work uh, for this texture, for some reason, it seems to be darker along one side uh, than the other. Uh, let's load in the shader here. You can see the uh, if we uh, scale different tile settings here, you can see exactly how that's affecting it right there. Uh, so let's go here, over here to uh, the global section in the parameters, and let's make a uh, make it tile method. Let's choose the offset method here. So you can see that looks a lot better uh, right away. We don't really notice much tiling, uh, especially not those hard edges like that. So what I can do now is I can just simply right-click my diffuse map, and I can just save this as a bitmap, and let's save it as uh, Snow Seamless right there in my Textures folder. And then let's go back into iClone. And uh, we can just uh, cancel this for now. And let's zoom out a little bit. Of course, you can see those, those uh, very noticeable lines along the, along the uh, terrain there. We want to avoid those. So let's, uh, let's go in and let's load up our Diffuse map. Let's replace it with snow seamless. All right, and there you go. Right away we can see a huge difference. We can even tile that a bit further. Let me bring it up to 40, and we get a lot more detail. So B2M to save the day on the uh, seamless textures. 
we can go up here and there's our map right there there's our finished height map terrain you can adjust uh, different uh, different material uh, parameters as well uh, so for example if I wanted the snow to be a bit more sparkly uh, on the ground um, or maybe wanted the uh, the uh, top level snow to be a bit more sparkly uh, reflect the light more since it's very icy we can go to the height map 3 this is the snow that's about this level right here and we can adjust the uh, specular settings bring the specular up we have to bring the glossiness down quite a bit though and you can see the effect already that that's having on that particular area so it's looking very icy we don't have to seem too uh, too exaggerated right there so you can see it whoops let's just zoom out here where are we there we are that's the dangers of using alt and shift to zoom so you can see there we have our very nice uh, nice result there as we as we get in closer you can see the uh, the nice uh, shiny texture right there you can see even better results if I move my uh, lighting around right there so there's my very detailed uh, very nice uh, custom height map terrain and if we want we can even uh, let's load in a nice uh, nice sky to uh, go along with this and of course you can uh, adjust the uh, performance uh, quality as well uh, recall that from the first uh, first introduction to uh, iClone or first introduction to height map tutorial. Uh, so we have our nice details right there. And let's load in a sky to complement that. It's a universal sky right here. All right, so here's our beautiful uh, height map terrain here. Um, now, of course, if I want, I can uh, add in some props as well or anything like that. Uh, let's maybe zoom into this area or this, uh, this mountain valley over here would be a good place um, to uh, add a sign. Let's go to our uh, city elements Chinese town here. And we can add in a, uh, a sign. We'll just add in this one right here. Here we go. And you can see it's very small compared to the enormous uh, height map terrain there. If I zoom in really closely, you can see that, uh, there we go. Um, even if I zoom in really closely to the terrain, we get some nice detail. We can look up into the, uh, the mountainside like that. So you have a very nice uh, ending scene like that. Um, and in the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can adjust the lighting and everything like that and, and create some nice uh, effects. Um, to really complement and uh, improve your scene's appearance. All right, so stay, stay tuned for that tutorial, and thanks for watching.